Justin Povic is a senior meteorologist for AccuWeather. He joins our hurricane coverage from the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. Uh, Justin, this is now a Category 2 storm, but it is still quite dangerous. Ossie, you're definitely right here. A very powerful storm, even though we've seen that slow downward progression in terms of the wind speed. A very large storm packing quite a punch with a lot of rain. Of course, we've been talking about feet of rain already over the Big Island. And notice the slow crawl to the north. That's not good news. That prolongs the rainfall only at two miles per hour. So again, we're talking about tropical storm warnings here for the Big Island out toward Maui in Oahu. Hurricane warnings and there could be hurricane force wind gusts there as we work our way toward the evening and the overnight over the mountainous terrain. Also notice the wave heights coming up toward the south shore of Oahu. So we're going to be anticipating that storm surge and that potential for some coastal flooding. That's an added threat here as land continues to churn off to the north. And these are areas that are not as susceptible to the strong winds and the higher surge. We think about that more so toward the eastern facing beaches here as the trade winds are more so the common factor here for the Hawaiian Islands. Now it is weakening, but at a slow rate, Again, there's lots of dry air. You're looking at the yellow colors here. That's drier air. Of course, hurricanes do not like dry air. Also, some unfavorable winds tending to stretch the system out and tendency to also shred the system in terms of organization. We talk about that inner core or the foundation of the hurricane starting to get disrupted here. So a further weakening trend is anticipated as we uh, go through time here. Let's talk about the track. Still in the cone is Oahu. So those impacts are still possible. The key will be when does Lane make that turn off to the west. The longer it turns north, the greater the impacts that will be found and felt where we're looking at at least tropical storm force winds. But again, that potential for hurricane force wind gusts. We're going to be following that here later on this evening, tonight, and eventually as we venture our way into Saturday, that turn off to the west. At closest proximity, roughly about 65 miles from Oahu, and that's going to be late Friday night into Saturday morning. Another big concern that is growing here, not only for the Big Island, but also to the north and to the west, is the heavy rain. Look at some of these rainfall amounts. We're talking one, two, three plus feet of rain, and it's still pouring down over the big island Hilo, looking at uh, an inch per hour rainfall rates earlier on today. So mudslides, debris flows, big concerns here. You can still see where we're looking at that flash flood warning covering the western half of the big island. Just some very dangerous conditions here as all that rain falls and then flows out of the higher terrain. We call that runoff. Notice where we also have, again, flash flood watches here for the remainder of the islands in anticipation for that heavy rain, OCA, as we head toward tonight and as we head toward Saturday. All right, Justin Povic, thank you so much.